Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. This week, man, I'm tired of talking about dead people. Honestly, like, rest in peace to Alexis Crawford from Atlanta. She was a student at Clark Atlanta University and she passed 21 years old another baby that passed away for something that more than likely was unnecessary the article that i saw well there's a couple of them there's a lot of things being said that i'm kind of skeptical about but i don't have any like stories or anything about it i mean not like it matters but it might matter i'm not sure but before i get into all of that this happened a few days ago um because she filed a report against her roommate's boyfriend the end of october then a couple days later she went missing um if anybody there had sense like but then again there were one there were suspects so i shouldn't say if anybody had sense they would have been um looking into them but one of them led the police officers to her body a few days later after she went missing and she's she's gone she's no longer here the boyfriend and girlfriend got charged um but like (sighs) two things right she filed a report against the boyfriend of her roommate after he tried to push up on her in like the in the bathroom of their apartment or something like that and then she winds up missing they can't still be boyfriend and girlfriend did they both kill her like why why is the girlfriend involved in this you know what I'm saying but they won't say well i haven't seen who it was that led them to her body the police to her body but I feel like if anything, the girlfriend probably got cold feet or somebody in the situation got cold feet and or was just sloppy or revisited the crime scene. Because apparently I watch a lot of SVU and Criminal Minds. So, you know, they say criminals usually return to the scene of the crime. But I just like she's 21 years old and she's gone now. Like and I hate seeing in the articles talking about somehow, you know, she went to holiday. They were like at each other's families for holidays and stuff like that like i'm real big on the word friend and i don't call everybody friend because a lot of people will sit there and smile with you and they'll meet your family and they'll meet your boyfriend and they'll you know introduce you to their boyfriend and family and all of that and still have ill will and still bad mind you and grudge you and all of this and i just hate that they keep saying oh they went to each other's household or whatever whatever the case is the girlfriend and the boyfriend of her roommate were involved in her disappearance they said that um the girlfriend brought her to the liquor store that night and the next morning she was missing what first of all the way me and my friends roll if we go somewhere together we make sure we get home together or we know that the other person goes home i don't know if i said this before on the episode but me and my two best friends we have our locations shared twin needs to turn hers back on though because i have access to her macbook yes i'm putting you on blast because i don't think you changed it yet but anyways (laughs) she's not here to defend herself so i'm not gonna go there but like if you and somebody is supposed to be friends y'all don't have to be extreme to the point where me and my friends are we just real overprotective of each other and it's a crazy fucking world we live in case in point if y'all supposed to be friends shouldn't you make sure especially roommates at that shouldn't you make sure that your roommate gets home safely especially after she just went and bought a bottle of liquor like she gonna be drinking or she gonna be around people that's drinking y'all don't do the whole text me when you get home shit or call me when you get home or none of that like no y'all oh okay maybe that's just me and my peoples i'm not judging alexis crawford of course i'm not i'm just saying her friends suck if that's supposed to be her actual friend you know what i'm saying then the thing that really really kind of fucked me up though was i saw something on twitter um that said like before i even got into the article like before like i think one of the first things i saw about her on twitter was someone saying that she um her boy um her roommate and her boyfriend are transphobic and i was like wait a minute hmm is she trans like i was it doesn't matter but if they are transphobic and that's why she's no longer with us then yes it does matter but if i don't know i have so many scenarios playing out in my head as to how this happened because i'm like maybe they didn't know that she's trans and the boyfriend pushed up on her and something transpired she was drunk and whatever whatever or actually no 
because he pushed up on her before she went to go buy the liquor but either way maybe he pushed up on her back then or whatever and they got her drunk and did whatever and whatever whatever who knows who knows because case of point whatever whatever the case is she should not have died <laughs> like it i don't want to say it wasn't her time maybe it was i hate saying the whole like oh god i hate that whole topic like you know when it's your time whatever but just rest in peace to her i have been trying like i said earlier i've been trying to see like if it is true that she's trans like i've been googling and googling and i came across a couple accounts but they all have the same caption in regards to whether or not she's trans it says something um let me find it, it says Alexis Crawford was an incredible woman with a bright future ahead of her. Black women and girls, especially black trans women, faced disproportionately higher rates of violence and homes. Yeah, shit, I can't read. Let me read that again. Alexis Crawford was an incredible woman with a bright future ahead of her. Black women and girls, especially black trans women, faced disproportionately higher rates of violence and homicide, often with impunity. This must stop. Right? And... I've seen that on a couple different platforms. If y'all hear the scratching in the background, that's my turtle trying to do the most. I'm not here for him right now. But I've seen a couple articles with that same caption. And it says that she died of asphyxiation. So some... Jesus. Yeah. So the boyfriend and girlfriend were charged with premeditated murder. And I just stuff like this really gets me sad like it really really does because like i don't do the frenemies thing i don't do i don't do none of that like i keep my circle it's not even a circle it's so small like it's a dot (laughs) you know what i'm saying like i i i'm so weary of people i'm so weary of like negativity like people really do be out here like not liking you and pretending that they do like get your business and go to somebody else to go talk it type shit whatever their reasoning is people do that shit and i'm so a person like if i ever considered you a friend you always gonna be a friend to me or i always will look at you in that light unless you do something for me to be like all right i'm not fucking with you no more then i'm not fucking with you no more but to be like oh I never like her that I'm not that type of person some of y'all fall out with people or grow apart and a lot of people don't understand that growing apart from somebody doesn't mean that y'all fell out like y'all can mutually just have grown in different directions you know what I'm saying like you can't look at people who've been friends for 10 15 20 years and be like oh they're still friends me and this person that I knew for how long aren't friends anymore so we fell out no 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 that's not always the case some people you know grow in one direction and some grow in another direction for example I know somebody that I was friends with since I was in diapers we grow up things happen we're not friends anymore i have no problem with this person i see her on the street whatever that's you but i'm not gonna be out here talking bad about people like that don't bring me no joy you know what i'm saying talking bad about somebody else does not make me feel better about myself and it it's not like that for some people some people you know what i'm saying they get joy in being able to spew dirt on somebody else's name I don't understand it. I really am not interested in trying to understand it. But I feel like they need to come to terms with who they are and what their issue really is within themselves because you spreading negativity isn't going to bring you positivity at the end of the day. Like, that's it for me, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know better, that's one thing. But a lot of y'all do this, like, mama man, like, chatty chatty bullshit, like, where y'all just, like in everything you know what i'm saying like just like to be in things and just enough so it look like say you have a whole heap of friend and in real life you're not having a friend because you pick up from that one year and you're gonna tell out like nah, i'm not with that messy shit like no so like hearing stories like this i'll just be like damn dog like i would haunt my friends <laughs> like that ass i'd be joking about that shit all the time i will haunt you bitches what me show up dead and oh, never make sure it's me all right bad enough i'm paranoid so 
I'm not going to say I'm not going to end up in a situation. I'm paranoid enough. Like, I be watching exits and watching my back. Like, I be walking and turning around looking like... I, I be looking like I'm crazy sometimes. Because I don't... I don't trust the world we live in. It's a fucked up fucking world. Like, I saw something... Funny enough, yeah, I saw something early on Twitter on this lady, like, jumped out of the trunk of her car and, like, ran into the convenience store. Like, somebody tried to kidnap her. Well, they did kidnap her, but she got away. They kidnapped her, and she said they've been trying to rob her. They went into the ATM. I don't know if she knows the person. I haven't seen a full story on it. I just saw the news report saying, um, showing you that, you know, any car, I think it's past 2002 has the glowing pull lock inside the trunk i'm sitting here doing the motion like y'all can see me <laughs> but it has a glowing thing inside the trunk um supposedly it says every car i don't know this for sure but that alone i swear to you is gonna have so many women like looking for that as a requirement in the cars that they buy like i'm the type of person i have a checklist like okay i need to make sure my shit got a sunroof i need you know either aux cord or um bluetooth or something you know shit that people be like oh yeah i want leather seats i want black interior i want spoiler on the back i need this kind of engine i need power windows power doors power locks cd player like touch screen like you know then it's like oh i also need to make sure that can i check the trunk you People might think you're trying to check the trunk, see if there's a spare tire in there, you got a jack, you got the whole utility thing for, you know, if you got a flat tire, you got to change it. No, no, no. We're checking to see if there's a, a lever in there to make sure that, you know, I can pop this trunk open in case somebody kidnaps me and steals my car. Like, what the fuck, bro? Really? Really? This is where we at in the world. Man. Yeah. So that's that's one thing um something that kind of tickled me that i saw i'm trying to put this in a, a more positive direction but actually no before we before we get to the positive stuff <laughs> um dampy y'all some more i saw i'd be finding all my news on twitter don't judge me <laughs> i live on twitter but somebody posted something on twitter saying that they got robbed at yui back gate went into a taxi in quotations and the people that in the taxi had guns took all of their money they didn't want her um mobile device or her ipad so luckily she still have that right somebody in the comments responded saying sorry to hear that title this now just monday my friend was robbed and killed be careful on the roads so it's not just america and i know it's not just jamaica either what what, what? <sighs> The same way how they can perpetrate taxi and, you know what I'm saying, rob the people them. Instead of rob people, y'all can perpetrate taxi and go run road and go get some money. Like, actually run taxi. <laughs> you know, that might be illegal, but at least you're not hurting nobody. You know what it's like to be violated like that? To be robbed, to be held at gunpoint or knife point? That does something to a person. Whether it makes a positive change in them or a negative change in them or whatever the case is that affects people you know i was riding home with a co-worker um the other day and we we're talking about you know i've been in a robbery before and thankfully i wasn't one of the people that was directly targeted like i wasn't the one like held up or whatever i was in the store when it happened and she was telling me that she's been in a situation like this and she's talked somebody down from, you know, stabbing up his ex-girlfriend or whatever in a place that she worked also. And I was just like, yo, that shit is that that's wild. And the person that did get held up, I had to seek out like therapy options for her. Like it was it was a lot because in that moment, your only thought is shit. Am I going to die? I'm, I'm not going to say that's your only thought. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more going on, but the fear of dying is ever present in that moment. You get me? Or being permanently scarred, whether it be physical or emotional, mental, whatever the case is. And these people out here, she said that it was, um, they put them, well, they got in a taxi or whatever. And as soon as they get in, they see that there's another person in there. Cause you know, they have the conductor and then they have the man that's driving. Well, if you don't know, 
<laughs> in Jamaican taxi, especially when you're doing like the minivan ones, they have somebody that is collecting the money and conducting. They tell you where to sit. They shift around, shift around, make sure that it's properly packed so that, you know, more people can fit in and it's whatever. So we can go on for the ride. And then there's a the person that just drives. There was a third person in there that they did not see when they got in, and he held their heads down all the way to, what did you say, Hope Pastures, and they told them not to look back. They let them out after they took all their stuff except for the mobile devices, and they went to a lady's house, and the person, you know, gave them money and drove them to UTEC, well, near UTEC. Thankfully for that lady, you know what I'm saying, thankful that they have their lives, but Jesus, like this world i am so <laughs> like every day that i look into things like this i just feel like dog i just want a bubble like a steel bubble <laughs> to live in just you know my provisions and like some good books and some music and i just this these oh god this bubble that we all live in is shit like it's really fucking shit i saw i don't know if it was a tsunami or something but some natural disaster I don't know if it's a disaster. I like water, so that shit looked low-key beautiful to me. Somebody was filming water doing some crazy shit, and they're saying water is the most, the strongest element or something. I don't know. Whatever that was, I didn't look into that. I just thought that looked cool. We just, you know, wash with the water away. Like, I I won't be mad. I wouldn't be. Because if I was whatever being it is you believe in that created earth and people and humans and everything that we see and live in, I would be so disappointed. Granted, they say it is written and everything is, you know, but we all have the choice. It is written that this is going to happen, but that is based on the choices that you make. I would be so disappointed. Me wash with a whole lot of Like me? <laughs> they say God is a woman. That's why there's so much petty shit going on in the world. But I'm not, mm, that's, that's neither here nor there um we can ease into some better stuff now i can slide into some better things oh disney plus finally dropped i have not signed up for it yet because i have i feel like hulu is free with my phone plan but i was wondering because i got an email saying you know do hulu and disney plus for 12.99 whatever whatever but i was like wait does that come with my phone plan since i already get hulu included or like I don't know. I'm going to look into that when I get a chance. But Disney, Disney made sure they want to cover all their bases. Disney Plus warns users of outdated cultural depictions in old movies. Now, if anyone knows me, knows that I love like all the old Disney movies, I like all the princess stories, the like I'm a Disney nerd when it comes to that shit. Like I'm all the princesses like Dumbo, Lady and the Tramp, Jungle Book, all of that stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I remember being a kid and watching these things a lot, like living in Jamaica, coming here. Like I, I to this day, I still want like all the VHSs. Like I've been trying to find like good quality VHSs because I think I have a VHS player somewhere, but I still want it. I know DVDs, whatever, but just for nostalgia's purpose, right? I have like a book with all the stories. I, 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 first of all, I found out Disney Plus was coming and the shit that comes with it. And I was like, what? Childhood relived. And then they said that like the Disney Channel movies and shows and shit are going to be on there. Not all of them, but like most of them. Like there's some people who's like excited about Marvel stuff, whatever. No, like I am catering to like my childhood. I didn't necessarily grow up on comic books. I read them here and there, but like I was Disney princess the fuck out. I was like all of those I was that was that was me like that was my shit so <laughs> seeing this and then putting that you know they warn users like basically came out with a disclaimer like hey we got some shit in here that you ain't gonna like let you know now it's outdated quote unquote like this we know that this is not how shit is you know what I'm saying the content may not sit well with today's audiences whatever right I saw that and a part of me died laughing like I was just like you don't think that people have deductive reasoning like go them for being a company and covering their asses and you know issue an apology before they had to but 
y'all got the internet y'all got google y'all got all of these things if y'all gonna get mad at disney plus for putting that shit on there those are disney classics no matter how racist or xenophobic or homophobic or all the phobics that they got going on in them all the inappropriate shit that us children were seeing without seeing like the phallic symbols like all the shit that they have in there that people have uncovered disney secrets and all the shit that <laughs> you know saying they've uncovered over the years and looked into and you know it's out there already so if you haven't seen it already and this is going to be your first time ever watching disney movies it's probably not for you anyways but <laughs> if it's your first time watching these disney movies and you don't go into it with an open mind or you don't like see the awe of what it was supposed to be and you're focusing on the negative things that are in it like chill they did not know better at the time just like a lot of things that's going on in the world now that they're trying to go back in history and like i say go back in history but like go back to people's like old things that they've done and rehash things that they've discussed the climate was different at that time when these movies were coming out they didn't necessarily know that it was offensive to put some of the things that were in there it was they didn't know that it was offensive to portray people or images in the way that they did at that time some of them like the phallic symbols and all that shit like some of them they were intentionally placed in there some of it is coincidence some of them is literally just ignorance so if you want to sit here and say oh disney's a multi-billion dollar company they could have made sure that they covered all their bases a lot of this shit was well before 2000 and people weren't as sensitive as they are today point blank period there wasn't as sensitive there was a lot of shit that or if they were as sensitive they weren't as vocal about it they weren't it wasn't cancel culture back then there wasn't a lot of you know what i'm saying all of this oh you can't say that i will oh, we're gonna get you fired we're gonna get you you know all your endorsements are gonna be canceled and blah 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 it wasn't a lot of that going on back then so it was very different i feel like freedom freedom of expression was not as limited back then and it may have been expressed incorrectly or offensively and shout out to disney for even you know what i'm saying well i'm not surprised but you know coming out and saying hey da, da, da. me personally y'all already don't like me half the time because i'm real like do you <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't do you like i just <laughs> like I, i'm not gonna sit here and you know penalize people for things that they did in their past that don't reflect what they're doing now you know what i'm saying if you didn't change then i could say all right you're a fucked up individual but you know better you're doing better i mean hey you lived and you learned basically that's that's me after i saw that though i saw that warner brothers also had issued <laughs> their own apology a while back about the shit that they have going on and that gave me a real ass fucking laugh because i was like warner brothers yo they had they were damn near blatant with their shit though like they but same thing different climate different time period different people different sensitivity levels different knowledge it was it was a different time but the <laughs> the warner brothers one i'm gonna read it real quick it says the cartoons you're about to see are products of their time they may depict some of the ethnic and racial prejudices that were commonplace in the american society these depictions were wrong then and are pres and are wrong today while we follow what blah, 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 blah. while the following does not represent the warner brothers view of today's society these cartoons are being represent being presented as they were originally created because to do otherwise would be the same as claiming these prejudices never existed fucking perfect like that was beautifully written shout out to their team somebody actually commented on my thing saying that they have enough money to remake them and correct the things that they've done and i'm like seriously you want them to go back and edit all of the re the things that they've produced that were incorrect or offensive like is it going to tell the story the same way? Would these stories even still exist if they were rewritten to appease today's level of sensitivity and knowledge? Like, let things be what they were. Like, they're not still doing it. Like, these are fictional characters. If they offend you, don't watch it. It's literally as simple as that. If you don't want to support it, don't support it. But don't bring bullshit to something that literally was done without malice you know what i mean it's like yeah anyways um a little bit of gossip 
twin brought something to my attention the other day and i want y'all to know my heart is broken i did not know that rebel and shan broke up first and foremost and then i did not know that rebel had a whole ass boyfriend now there she posted a picture oh if y'all don't know who rebel is that's one of spice's dancers I've, I've talked about her before on the show like i love her but um she posted a picture of her she and shaman and it's a picture with like she's from the side you can't really see her but you know it's her because of the brook on and um what's his name intense and he's pulling out his hat whatever something said tug kind of vibes all right cool so i'm a comment reader right i go in the comments and one of the things that caught my attention somebody says so rebel why intense always a hiding face i'm not happy what if not happy i take picture with you or something like okay you can't even see her face in the picture so why was it even necessary to say that you know what i'm saying then someone else commented and said look like yeah i get a lot of backers a whole round that looks so dildo could never Mm. okay <laughs> because it's the penis that makes the butt fatter not the actual sexual position right okay um all right cool now my favorite one so far but now i look back at replying which may what okay i'm not reading <laughs> i'm not reading this like this so let me skim really oh somebody is so happy 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 you find a way to accept being loved again by what god created to be and i pray and hope this young man give you every reason to continue to believe because when people hurt you deep and you have to go dark and to the other side it's not easy so bless up sis and thanks for holding with culture the real way huh so 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 because she find man she find god and is living by the way that, okay okay i don't understand <laughs> why people always come with their like fucking homophobia on people pages y'all understand what bisexual mean whether she's bisexual or not but still you know what i'm saying she was with a woman for however many years y'all was sick about that six until like she wasn't even that out with their relationship and it was together for years you know what i'm saying she posed a picture with a man and y'all everything from criticize her to like bigger up talk about how she probably do our body because our body look bigger or if she had take fuck from the back because dildo could have never do that or she find god and thankfully she not, she not like really people like y'all are the reason why a lot of celebrities turn off their comments like y'all be really in these comments acting a whole ass like a whole ass and then y'all want to get mad that instagram wants to turn off visible likes <laughs> like internet bullying is not a thing like it's whether they're doing it for marketing purposes or not probably go them but a lot of people really do focus on their likes and people seeing their likes and knowing that they have likes like people really be in the comments like oh like for like and follow for follow and all of this on like pages that aren't like influencers like people personal pages like you go on their page and it's just their everyday life that they're posting about and they just want people to come like their stuff you know what i'm saying like yeah it's just the internet and some people log off and it's are fine but not everybody has the capability to do that not everybody can just blow past the shit that y'all say and just be like oh that's just bullshit oh that's haters oh that's you know so not everybody has that and you can't tell them don't use social media because of that like y'all need to be more careful with what you choose to put out there like you're commenting on people's personal lives they don't have to put it out there for you they really don't some of them probably shouldn't but that's their choice though it's their profile it's their platform that's what they choose to do with it 
if some people post only memes some people post just mere pictures some people you know what i'm saying like it's your platform to do with as you feel like if you want to use it for personal use that's fine but you shouldn't have to deal with people picking you apart because of it and in reference to the picture of his face being hidden there's so many other pictures and videos on her page where his face is all in it he giving her a kiss like it's it's this one picture you come across and you just feel like every picture so and then if you're jamaican on top of that that's like one of their most famous poses apparently like having the head down something like not looking at the camera looking off to the side or like some shit where you're not actually holding your head up i don't get it i don't i don't know but i've seen a lot my little sister be doing that shit in her pictures like i took a picture of her and she's like oh hold on and i'm saying you're not gonna look at the camera no it's oh <laughs> whatever you know what i'm saying whatever the reason is so like y'all just chat shit for just just cause and i've mode like just just because right okay whatever i saw something about people in india would refuse life-saving organs if it was donated by a person of the lgbtq community and all i'm gonna say about that is then dead dead you don't want their organs just for the reason that they're lgbtq then that's fine like there are some concerns about like you know stds and things like that but i'm pretty sure hospitals aren't going to be donating std ridden organs like but huh does that even make sense don't they test that like whatever so yeah just die i i said it i don't care whatever <laughs> and doo -doo 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 -doo. oh someone in the comments oh i told you i live for the comments someone in the comments says as an indian i can say that those people deserve to suffer but to those white people in the applies being racist right now it was colonizers who banned lgbtq community living in india making it illegal when they came here y'all won't believe but lgbtq was accepted in society and before the colonization there are stone carvings on temples inter what inter i can't read um rituals in the kama sutra literal poems written by kings to their lovers but it was banned and deleted from the history homophobia was brought by the colonizers and it was conditioned into the society that anyways i personally don't even like legal labels in real life so if the girl is gay she's gay if y'all don't want gay people's organs or blood or any of that then you know just i wonder if they're gonna make that an option <laughs> like do like i feel like that would be dumb to make that an option but i wouldn't be surprised if some homophobic person is like you know i want to know before you give me this whether it's going to save my life or not if it came from somebody that was lgbtq plus you know i wouldn't i honestly would not be surprised by that just because people are so hateful and ignorant but yeah i just you know we're <laughs> we're always growing i'm 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 hoping we're growing in the right direction always but yeah i just <laughs> whatever people suck oh i posted <laughs> i knew i was gay when i posted that on my story and y'all responses took me out like wow y'all was gay for a long time <laughs> i've been listening to ti's podcast don't judge me i know you're probably gonna be like bitch what why why would you do that but it's purely for humor purely purely for humor i have a few more things i want to talk about but i'll save that for the next episode yeah we're gonna wrap this up so just like every other episode if you have any poetry or short stories that you want to share or have read on the show please feel free to submit them to askpointless at gmail.com don't forget to listen like share and subscribe follow us on all the social media platforms we are available on many streaming devices and outlets it's pointless talks across all of them that's p-o-i-n-t-l-e-s-s-s-t-a-l-k-s -S 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 and we're on tune in apple podcast soundcloud facebook youtube google play music twitter instagram facebook spotify so check us out tell me what you think if you like us rate us give us five stars keeping a bad mind feelings them to in a self and whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you again for listening to the pointless talks podcast <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.